a guy who is very much in the heavyweight picture and a guy who wants to get back into the heavyweight picture. Deontay. His way to the ring from Scottsdale, Arizona. With a record of 12, Sergey Lakovic. Let's go. So Sergey, that he's seven years of age, he's been fighting years as a pro puncher, and he feels that that's going to be the key for him tonight as he fights a younger opponent. 60, I've told you about that in the opening of the show. He upset Lehman Brewster to win the WBA version of the heavy W. To Shannon Briggs, Nikovic has been stopped at his last two fights. The last... Nikovic is here largely because he usually goes deep into fights. He's been stopped four times, but never before the ninth round. Robert Hellenius, how will Wilder compare? And now, Fantasy Springs from Tuscaloosa, Dante Wilder! Look at 27-year-old Deontay, he years to make that mask, too, I believe. He won the bronze medal at the Beijing Olympics back in the football and a basketball player. He turned pro in boxing, or turned to boxing, I should say. He's strong, he's athletic, he's got all those tools, but he did have very few amateur fights, and so he's kind of learning on the job. Everybody out, everybody placed in front of him. He's averaged only 1.7 rounds per fight, and he's never seen the fifth round. You And who that? A lot's been made of the quality of Wilder's opposition, and rightfully so. Say what you want about... Announcer Joe Martinez for the formal introductions. Joe. BC Continental America's heavyweight champion. Golden Boy Promotions in association with La Cerveza Mas Fina and Showtime. WBC with supervisor in attendance, Greg Hubble, under the auspices. Noise if you are ready! Sergey, the White Wolf Lycoming! And next is opponent across the ring, fighting out of the blue corner. Deontay, the bronze bubble Wilder! Sergey, keep take. Gentlemen, I'm going to the dressing room. I want to remind you, protect yourselves at all times. Listen to my commands. Touch them up, back to your corner. Wilder, 10 years younger, but more significantly, he has a six-inch reach advantage, Barry. All right, round one, and Lekovic comes in here stone cold dry. Has not broken a sweat, and that's always a concern for me. Flash knockdowns happen often when you see a fighter come in like this. Well, Lehovich, he's an experienced fighter. Even though he hasn't been active, he's still a veteran, and uh, he's seen a lot of things in boxing, been put in certain situations that Deontay Wilder hasn't seen. Deontay Wilder, remember, he's the last American male to win an Olympic boxing medal. That came in 2008. And Lehovich fought in the 96 Olympics for his home country of Belarus. He's the only professional world champion from Belarus. He was talking to us about the fact there's a very talented amateur in Belarus now. We may see somewhere down the road. And professional experience, by the way. Lahovich, 181 rounds to go with those 30 fights. Wilder, because he's knocking everybody out so quickly, only 49 rounds. Wilder wouldn't mind going some rounds in this fight, but he, of course, said, if I can clip, I'm going to clip. Yeah, he said he wants to relax and just, you know, establish his jab. And, you know, he said if the knockout comes, it comes. If it doesn't, then I go the rounds. That's what his trainer, Mark Brillen, said. 1984 Olympic gold medalist, world champion, and uh, kind of, they're, they're built the same. They're tall and lanky. Yeah. Three of trainers, Lakovich working now with Mike McCallum, the body snatcher. His third trainer in his many fights, but he said what McCallum has been working on, obviously, is going to the body, and he wants to do that more yeah. tonight. Good, quick left hand shown by Wilder. There's a right hand, drives Lakovich into the ropes. Down he goes. And it's over. Stay Just stay right like stay right that. Stay. Hello, stay. goodbye. Stay, stay, Sergey. Sergey, stay. Stay. Don't stay. 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 You're okay. You're okay. Stay, stay right here. They're telling Lukovic stay down. He wants to get up. He was shaking when he went down. Nervous reaction. Yeah, that was scary. He was right in front of his Barry, and he was spasming it when he went down. Yeah. Yes. He's okay now, or appears to be okay. He is communicating with the referee. He wants to get up, but they'll keep him down, as they should. In the meantime, 
What can you say about Dante Wilder? I mean, that was jab, bang, bang. It's really the first right hand he threw. And he wasn't even looking for it. He was just trying to establish his jab, and now has 29 knockouts, 29 wins. They will still tend to Lukovic. And he is communicating with the doctor and with the referee. They will keep him down. Paramedics coming into the ring now, too. And yeah, they're bringing a stretcher in, probably to immobilize him for safety reasons. Let's hope that. Absolutely, and they're doing a great job. Here it is again. Well, he caught him with a hook there, but that's not the punch. Watch the jab, right hand. And then once Lahovich went to the ropes, that was it. And look at Lahovich's reaction. Look at his left and right, his feet. Yeah, ugly, one of those ugly knockdowns. Yeah, what that a was, shot. That was full force with yeah, the right hand. It sure was, and caught him bouncing off the ropes, too. Full force, great balance. Look at him. Even that jab forced him into the ropes. Good thing the other right hand missed him. He was already down there. That second right hand he threw. Well, Lahovich is right above us, and he does look at least clear-eyed. Yeah, he's sitting up. They'll get a nice bag on his back. He wants to stand Look up. at that reaction, though, with Barry. That was, that was very, very scary. Yes, it was. Good job again by the referee, Taylor, to Here's step in. Let's get some water, okay? Let's get him some water. Well, again, you know, I hate to go back and say it, but he came in here without having broken a sweat, and it took a minute and 40 seconds. Uh, we know Lahovich was past his prime. That's not what this fight was about. What it was about was trying to get Wilder some rounds against an experienced guy. He didn't get that. If this was a baby step up, he made a big statement, a monster statement, taking that baby step. And these are the U.S. heavyweight hopes. We've talked about it since about 1753. There hasn't been a U.S. heavyweight worth talking about. Well, these are the ones we're talking about now. Brian Jennings has sort of come out of nowhere to perhaps lead, although these fighters are listed alphabetically. Seth Mitchell, well, he avenged his loss to Jonathan Banks, and he's going to tackle uh, the heavyweight who used to head this list, Chris Ariola, on September 6th. And Andy Ruiz, perhaps the least known of this group, but he came, he got a very big win a couple of weeks ago against Joe Hanks, who was 21-0. and Malik Scott, he's been around a long time, just lost, to, lost under somewhat controversial circumstances to Derek, Derek Chisora of England. And then you have Wilder, you see now he goes to 29-0. and And in terms of pure punching power, I don't think there's a doubt uh, which fighter belongs first on this list. No, I agree. He's going to start to open some eyes. I don't think there's any question about it. Here are the numbers, Steve. Yeah, the number's pretty meaningless here because it really was one right hand that did the damage. Uh, no one has ever done this to Sergei Lakhovich before, and I think that's the underlying meaning of this fight. Well, it was an impressive win for Wilder, to be sure, regardless. I mean, Lakovic, at the very least, has been in there with some really good guys. Let's make it official now. We'll go to the center of the ring once more. Joe Martinez with the announcement. Joe. Ladies and gentlemen, the end comes officially. One minute, 43 seconds, round number one. Referee Thomas Taylor calls a halt to the contest. Your winner by KO victory, recording his 29th straight victory, 29th straight knockout win, and still the WBC Continental America's heavyweight champion, the undefeated Deontay, the bronze bubble Wilder! So there is your winner tonight, and in very impressive fashion, Deontay Wilder takes another giant step forward, I think, in the heavyweight division. A one-round knockout, not even a round. It took him a half a round to get the former champion, Sergei Lakovich, outside of his career. Earlier tonight, we had a chance to see Deontay Wilder and Francisco Vargas. Tremendous uh, victory for both these guys. I want to ask you. As long as he understands distance. And, you know, he sparred quite a bit with Vlad Klitschko. He learned a lot about distance. When you have his... It's the whole fight of our main event. But here we're going to get at least a good part of it as Deontay Wilder whacks Sergei Lehovich. Well, he did that. And perhaps the most important thing about this fight, we saw Lehovich leave the ring and go to his dressing room on his own. Yeah, and that was the best.